Hi, this is the first video on using auto layout to generate user interfaces that look the same on all size devices. Let's say you had an iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPad, uh, iPhone 5, 4, whatever. Uh, you can use auto layout to have your user interfaces look the same on all these devices. So if you wanted, uh, let's say, a button to be horizontal and right in the middle on all these devices, you can use auto layout to very, very easily make that be the same for all devices and really help your app scale. So on this first video, we're going to do something very, very simple to be kind of an introduction to auto layout. And then the following videos are going to keep getting uh, more and more complex and start to do some really cool things. So as you remember on one of the last videos, we had these two buttons, go to second view controller, which just goes to the second uh, view that passes data. And we had this button that just goes to a web view, which loads up the Apple website. But as you can see here, they're not um, exactly in the middle here. And then if you rotate your app, they're off to the side. So what we want to do, we're going to do a very simple one where these are always going to be um, aligned right in the middle. So what we need to do, we need to go to our nib file, which is the, for me, viewcontroller.nib. And you'll see here, there's the buttons. So first thing we're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to click on the top element or whatever element you want to balance. You're going to hold down the control button. And when you hold down the control button, you're going to get a special line that comes out of it. This is different than the properties line uh, that you get with the command button. So you're going to use this to relate items to each other. So I want to relate this button to my view. And what you get here, you get a leading space to container, you get a trailing space, which is leading is the, the one on the left, trailing is the one on the right your top space to container, bottom space, if you want it centered horizontally or centered vertically. So what this is going to do is it's going to say, let's say you had 30 pixels on one side and 30 pixels on the other, and you always want it to be like that, and you can uh, assign these values here. So now that we've covered the basics, we're going to go ahead and go to the second video, and we're going to start uh, actually implementing the auto layout. Thank you, guys. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, comment on what you want to see next. I'll be happy to make more and more videos for you. Thank you so much.